am Chef Carrie, and today I have a helper with me. Hi, my name is Lola. And today we're going to be making my favorite green acai smoothie um, bowl. And the first thing I'm going to do is start off with the base ingredients. So I use an entire bag of spinach, this is six ounces. Um, so I stuff the blender full of that. Okay. What's your favorite thing about acai? Chuggies. Perfect. Um, I'm using the Samazon acai packets. I already have one cut open. So that's going to be the main ingredient in this. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. It's nice and frozen. That's it's like chocolate. <laughs> that's what's going to cool down the recipe. Is it chocolate? No. <laughs> Um, then I'm going to add a banana. Oh, I'm not banana. <laughs> then I'm going to put my favorite protein powder. This is Warrior Blend by Sun Warrior. It's vegan, it's gluten free, dairy free, soy free, um, as is this recipe. Alright, so you're going to do one, one big scoop. Just go ahead and pour that in the blender. Yeah. <laughs> so again, this recipe is dairy free, gluten free, soy free, sugar free, it's vegan, and it's raw. It's a great way to start your day, and it's also full of superfoods and vitamins and minerals um, so it's also good if you have any sort of like run or anything like that it will definitely put some pep in your step the next thing we're going to do is put a teaspoon go ahead and use this one um, of l-glutamine i like adding l-glutamine to my recipes because it's really good with muscle recovery it also helps repair your gi tract and um, soothes your gut um, as well as helps with a number of other different things it's a great amino acid so i add it whenever possible I also like to add probiotics. Today I'm going to be using Probiotic 8. It comes in capsulated form. So I just take a couple of these, you want to grab one, and I break them open into the smoothie. These are also really good for your digestive tract. Um, good amount of probiotics in there. Perfect. Can you give me those? Okay. So now we're ready to add a little bit of water. I'm going to start with one cup, and we're going to start blending it. And you have to close it here. <laughs> okay. Get the top on. Get our masher in there. So go ahead and turn that on. From where? Hold on one second. Let me have some water on standby. Okay. Okay. So we're going to turn it on. So the amount of water you're going to use varies just depending on the ingredients that you put into your acai bowl. Um, this, I put about a cup in, now we're at about a cup and a half, so we're going to try that. You basically want it to be nice and thick and hearty, so go ahead and blend it again. Some coconut next to that. Oh, 
And then next, we're gonna do the blueberries. And then we're gonna do a little layer of bananas here. And then I'm also gonna add some of the granola. So again, like I said, this is a little bit more um, watery than I normally like to make it. But as you can see, you have a really pretty acai bowl. So make it a little bit thicker, a little bit less water. And feel free to add whatever toppings you want. You can use bee pollen, you can use whole hemp seeds, you can use granola, um, anything we used here today. Any other fruits. I really like dragon fruit on it and mulberries. <laughs> and she's ready to eat this. So for the recipe, please go to my website at chefcarry.com. Thank you so much for watching.